Easy people. So today is a beginner's guide to audio tracks. I'm going to try and be fast. I've been always trying to see how fast I can do this um, for two reasons. I want to see how quick I can explain things. And secondly, because I can't be bothered editing stuff. So, so there you go. So I'm going to try and see if we can get this to be a quick one. I've took 26 minutes saying that to you. This is about audio tracks. Um, if you look here, the audio track is this thing here, these square things here, Eclipse. You can have different things in each clip in an audio track. Keep that in mind. Number one, each audio trap clip did I say that right? Yeah, I'll say it again. Each audio track clip can have different information in that. But on top of that, in each clip, you can have different pieces of audio. Now, that is massive and it has a massive advantage because what that means is you could have a kick here, then you could have a snare from somewhere else. You could have a vocal sample of somebody saying, hello, can I have a cup of tea, please? And that could just be in one audio clip and you can press that and it'll go kick, snare, hello, can I have a cup of tea, please? And then in this, you could have something else and you could have something else, someone else, someone else, blah, 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 infinitum, right? And each one of those pieces of information, each audio sample, so the kick could be independent of the hello, I could, I could have a cup of tea. So basically I could pitch that kick up. I could have a snare pitch down and then I could use warp on just that, the information of hello, could I have a cup of tea, please? Um, so that's brilliant, right? That is really brilliant. Only other thing you want to keep in mind is this. You can only have one thing playing after each other you can't have two things playing at the same time on one audio track. So basically, each audio track can be independent to any other audio track, but you can only have one thing playing at one time. So it's you can't have a kick and, hello, can I have a cup of tea, please, playing at the same time on one audio track. Hopefully that made sense. So I'm going to show you some kind of tips. Tips, tricks, yeah. One or two, two things, more than two things. I'm going to explain it, obviously. Well, it's not obvious because I haven't explained it yet. But anyway, let's get to it. So the thing you want to keep in mind, this thing over here is your best friend. The reason why is that's your locator line and the locator line you can use as an editor. So if I move my locator line to here and I have a piece of audio, I can chop it by using the thing down here, which I'm going to get to in a minute. So that's your best friend. The second best friend you've got in here as well is the shift button. Well, that's not in here, that's over there. And I'm going to show you why that shift button is your best friend in a minute. And the other friends that you meet along the way are copy and paste. So let's get to it. What, I'm what I've done is I've arbitrary, which means random, if you don't know. I've randomly chose a few um, beats here. If you look on the matrix, I've called this beats and I've cho chose a few um, melodic samples here in these clips, which I'm gonna call chops. So if I just play them, that's one. That's another thing. It's all smooth because I'm feeling smooth today. And I've just left it at 90 BPM. And then I've got beats here. All oh, right, quiet you. So I've got that. And I've got that. And then I've got that. And I've got another beats and whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my own beat out there. And what I'll do is I'll go to clip. So I've highlighted the clip that I want. And I can press select to see the clip that I want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take pieces and put them into this and create my own beat. So the first thing I've got here is this thing here with a bit of mountain sound. And it's like, yeah, that's cool. So remember what I was saying about the locator being your friend. I'm going to scroll through this locator now here. Another thing I need to do, I forgot to do and mention is you've got all your kind of editing tools here. The only editing tool you need to really be concerned about is select. Once that's on, 
everything else you can use. Like I said, shift is your friend and locate is your friend and you're going to see why. So I'm going to move across here and um, I want a kick. So I'm going to have it go kick something, something, something. I don't know. I'm making this up as I go along, but I'm going to, I'm going to have kick and snare and then have things between. So I'll, I'm going to ignore. No, I'm going to show you this, but I'm not going to use this first. I'm just going to show you why I said about the locator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my life easy by just chopping this up, moving it with the locator, pressing split, 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 not spliff. All right. And splitting that, and then I'm moving again. I'm going to split that and I'm doing it by bars, um, not bars. I'm doing it by beats, but I'm doing it by half a bar because it's just easier. That's, that's a small enough piece. I could do it by beats, but I'll just do something really, really quick. Um, I was, so I'm doing this on each one. You don't have to do this. I'm just showing you how you would use the locator to chop. So now these are all little pieces to themselves. So what I can do is I could select a piece now and I could press shift and copy that piece. So I'll do that. I wasn't going to do it this way, but I am here now. Uh, by pressing shift, what I said is your other friend. I could press copy. And now that information is copied into the the memory of the Akai Force. And then I can use the locator to say, well, where do I want to put that? So um, I'm going to do that and I'll zoom in a bit more, get a bit closer. And what I'm going to do is... Let me see how much memory, how much I've got. Yeah, half a bar. I did half a bar chops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a bit of that and I'm going to just paste a bit of that there. So I've pasted a bit of that there. I want a kick. So I'm going to go to one of these. Um, let me see. Right, there's a kick. I already pre-sliced these just to save a load of bother. And then I'm going to select that and I'm going to copy this piece here. And that's just one bar. So one bar long. So when I go back to here, I could go select and I can go with this, move that down there. And then I can do shift again. I'll paste it into there. And what I could do is I could either go here and paste it like that again, or alternatively, because I know it's just one beat and I want it to play that twice. I can just press duplicate. So now I've got a little little um four bars yeah four bars four beats sorry sorry i'm pressing the wrong one so i've got a little thing there we'll add a bit more let's go and find something else so we'll have that little ch -ch -ch. so um i'm gonna bring that i'll I'll chop that into half again i'll split it so i've got a little split bit it's already selected so i'm gonna copy that and we'll just have that right at the end somewhere. So I'll go back again and I'm going to put it there. See what that's like. Um, um, my locator is already ready. So just shift paste. So now I've got this. Yeah. And maybe we'll do another one. There we go. That, that sounded all right. And maybe we'll use the snares as well. So I'll copy that. Press select to go back to that. Um, and we'll move the locator to here. And do you see how I'm not having to do a lot of things? Shift and locator. And this is quick how I could make stuff together. I like to the, on this thing, there was a, I like that snare there. I mean that clap. So I'm going to copy that clap. Do I want all of it? No, do you know what? I'm just going to only have a little piece of that clap. So what I can do is I can zoom in and I can say to myself, well, I only want a little piece of that clap. So I can press shift and then I can use this to scroll in, sm in finer things. So I only want that clap, but maybe I just want that. I'll do half so I can split that now and I'll just take that little bit there. That was a beat, but I could do, no, that's half of a beat, I think, is it? Yeah, it is. It's half of a beat. And I could, by doing shift, I could do it even tighter than that. 
So I could do it to 16 I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's right. So I'll copy that. I'll go back to shift, um, not shift. I'll select that because I don't want to play. I could do all, all of what I'm saying now, I could do when the, when the music's running. And do you know what? I should have really done it like that. But I don't want I don't want anybody to get confused. So that's why I was showing that. The other thing you can do, if your timing's good and you, you've got decent timing, you can actually drop it in in real time. So I'll play this. I'll go back to shift and then I can paste this. So if my timing wasn't that bad, it wasn't necessarily mad tight, but it was, uh, it was in the ballpark, so I could neaten that up. So I've got that and then again, I could split this here. Again, if my timing is good, let's see. So I've got that, I'll duplicate that. I'm just making this up. So I don't know, that didn't really do up for me. Maybe up, maybe, maybe I can move it. No, that stinks. So, like I said, you can mess about. You can mess about and have a few ideas. I can cut that because it's the same as deleting. So what, what have I got? So we'll have a bit of a hi-hat. There was a little hi-hat thing there, there. So I'll copy that. And I'll, I can, ooh, if I do the right things. Um, locator, make sure I'm on the right ring. Did I do anything else? I wasn't paying attention there. No, oh, that was it. So there we, there we go, paste that in there and I'll paste that in here by pressing shift to go to the next one and paste it there. Um, and we'll do one more piece here of something. So let's see, what did we like? No, no. Oh, I like that. I like that. We'll have a bit of that. So I'll copy that. Go back to select. And um, we're in 12, 12 minutes already. So I'm going to try and see if I can speed this up. Another thing I should tell you. What it does is, if you move something, like if I move this now, what it'll do is it'll clear that. It's not lost. You can get it back. So if I go here, I can get this back by just pressing edit end and that'll, that'll edit the end back but just keep that in mind this stuff isn't lost it's just been shortened or lengthened so um, now that's been lengthened so um, somewhere I wasn't really paying much attention but I can just edit that back and that's brought that back so let's go to here and we're going to just drop this in and we'll see what that rhythm that makes That's not, not bad, it's funky. So we'll extend that a little bit till that's in there. So we've now just come up with our own and I'll extend that as well. And remember, because I never press snap, I use shift as a, as a snap instead of using that. I mean, not shift as a snap. I used shift as a fine kind of nudge, fine everything. I've not had to use don't start, don't snap. And it means like for this, I can just tighten up that by moving that into there and that's all tightened up. So now everything's nice and flush. And the greatest thing about that is I could just flatten that now into one piece. So while I'm here, I'd, I'd gone on slightly longer than I wanted, but we'll keep going. We'll, I'm gonna do this one mad fast. So again, Right, so I'm gonna just do quick half of that, whatever this is, and this is gonna just be it. So I'm here. Don't forget, you're always in grid for edit. Clip is um, for the length, so how long the 
the length of the clip is, where the clip starts, where the loop of the clip starts, which I'll show you because now I've gone a bit further than I wanted to, but you'll be all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that by going back to grid and back on select. And then I'm just going to, mm, I'm going to go to locator and then I'll move the locator and I'm going to just chop this first bit, bit here. I've got no idea what this is going to be, but we'll just go with it. So I'll copy it. Remember that's in the, that's in the like sample memory thing when I've copied it. So when I come here and I'll create a new bar, all I have to say to myself is where do I want to land this? I'm just going to land it here. Cause uh, like I say, I'm making this up as I go along. So that's one piece. So we'll have, we'll have that. We'll copy this part, copy. Go back to the top one, what we're using, use that, come, come back here, paste that in here. So we've got da, 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 something. Right, uh, and that, we'll copy that. And this is a good way of coming up with your own chops where you like, you, you, you might have a chop that in a way that you would never think of it and that might never come to you. Always keep remembering you, you want to be highlighting this because I keep forgetting it. Obviously, as I was saying, I know I might have said before, or if I haven't, let's see. There, that part. If I wasn't explaining this in real time, I would probably be making far less like mistakes, but I think we're here now. So I'll paste that in. And this is what we've done. We've created our own little chops and not anything played. This was just out of loops. So what have we got? Yeah, that's got a vibe to it. Let's go with that. So what, what's great now, like I says, copy is your friend. Why is copy your friend? Because you can also copy audio tracks. So I'm going to keep this playing while I'm talking. I'm going to copy that. So now I can use this track here, go to mixer. I'm probably going a bit further than I want it to be. It'll be all right. And then I'm going to go here and I'll put on this, which I think is ace is uh, no I'll do before I do that I'll do one more thing I'll put on um, I'm gonna put on like a channel strip just because I'm gonna compress that which I will do a tutorial on but not today so I'll compress that signal a little that's nice because I like to do that and I'll go back here and then I'll do one more thing and then I'll call it. So I'm going to go to Kill EQ, which I think is Ace, which I might do a little discussion on and I'll, kill, I'll keep that there. Now you see, this is the thing about me, I get giddy and I want stuff to sound alright so now I know I've gone too far now, but I just want to show you how much you can really do with this stuff. I'll do that again. I'm going to use Killy Q. Killy Q, I think, is a better, in some some ways, sometimes it's a lot better to use than, um, what's its name? What's its name? Um, <laughs> what am I on about? Killy Q, yeah. Killy Q is better to use and filter sometimes because you have advantages what you don't normally have on the thingy. So there we go. And there you go. So you've got some kind of groovy thing. Mm. 
and whatever and I've just come up with something that was way too long I apologize but I was trying to show you that's the thing about audio tracks um I hope that's been helpful and hopefully that was a beginner's one as well um like and subscribe and comment comment please comment tell me if I'm uh, if that was helpful or that was right and until next time as always peace